It is, hey, how you doing? Wrapping up my interview. I'm an OnlyFans star. Come on in. Come on in. Come, come, on, come on, on in. Come on. My name is Bert Kreischer. Hey, everyone. Make sure to check out my movie, The Machine, in theaters Memorial Day weekend. Brother, let's kill a beer together. Let's kill a high noon together. No, do you want one? You want a high noon? There's a high noon right there. Bro, yeah, hardcore brother. There's a high noon right there. Do you want a high noon? Julia, it is such a pleasure. I'm such a fan. I'm a fan. No, you're not. I subscribed. No, to me? Yeah. No, you didn't. Do, my name's Bert. Do you know who I am for real? Are we all subscribed to each I other? I wish I wish I could sit in on this podcast. <laughs> I would fucking love this. <laughs> I didn't know you were supposed to. Oh, oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Pinky. Good. 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 Okay, yeah. You're a little more experienced with that than me. But... I'm a grown up. Okay, people, we are back with another episode of Only Stands Here. We have a Julia Lynn Sandoval here. Um, where are you from? Fill me in. I always start. First question every podcast. Where are you from? I am from Colorado. What part? Denver, Colorado. You smoking that weed, dude? Mm -hmm. A little Wish bit. You smoking that herb? <laughs> you ever go to Red Rocks? <laughs> yes, all oh the time. I grew up like pre-gaming in the lots and then we'd all like walk up together and everyone's just like oh that's crazy you pre-gamed in the parking lot before a concert before <laughs> so you need red rocks yeah but it's it's fun that's imagine crazy. growing up and like in high school having that there you know how many people died building red rocks how many a lot they built from the side of a mountain or a canyon whatever the fuck we took it. shots really in their know. memory exactly as long as it's in their memory that's all that matters you're in beautiful los angeles nowadays beautiful eh. but yeah i'm there you don't like it no, I like it. It's just I grew up with like a mountain behind my house. And There's like, mountains in L.A. Yeah, these two. Wow, look at you. Good stuff. Good start. Good start. <laughs> no, that's the first thing I noticed when I got off the plane in L.A. one time. There's mountains these in the mountains? distance. I didn't see those mountains. They weren't, they weren't there. They were probably, I don't know, they're probably at fucking fucking Nightingale. <laughs> no, they were at the gym, honestly. They were probably at fucking <laughs> parking lot. 40 love. They weren't, they weren't at fucking LAX picking me up. <laughs> but um, yeah, whatever. Either way. Uh, LA is an interesting place. I'm still, I'm still learning about LA. Really? Yeah. What neighborhood do you live in? I live in Hollywood, but Ooh. before, yeah. But I want to move to the outskirts. So either if I don't find something in West Hollywood, I want to move to like Sherman Oaks or somewhere on the Probably outskirts. Probably like Santa Monica. Are you a beach gal? Uh, no? Uh, Sounds like no. I can be a little be bitchy. Beachy, you don't beachy. bring those mountains to the beach? <laughs> um, no, I prefer like the greenery. Really? Yeah. Okay. So like the the trees in West Hollywood. The, like behind the chateau. Like just give me one tree and I'll be happy. Oh. I don't even need two. Just one. Maybe half it's of just one. Just a steady tree. Yeah. Oh, damn. You must be and really, a flower. You must really pop off on Arbor Day, huh? I, that part. <laughs> you know, that's like, that's like, the, isn't that plant day? That's like the plant day. It's I like, honestly have no idea what that is, but it just sounded Arbor really. Arbor day is like the tree. Day. It rolled Google off the Arbor tongue. Day. Arbor day. It really yeah. rolled off the tongue nicely. I'm not yeah, gonna I want, lie. Wait, I want to see the definition of Arbor day. <laughs> and I think it's so like the excited. tree day. Arbor day is April 28th. So we just missed What's it. the definition of it? Um, let's see. Arbor day, which literally translates to tree day from the Latin <laughs> origin of the word Arbor is a holiday that celebrates the planting, upkeep, and preservation of trees. How about that? Look at us being How educational on OnlyStands. educational <laughs> podcast now. We're educating people about trees and preserving trees, and you as a tree lady. And mountains. And mountains. And you as a tree lady, you got to learn Arbor Day is a big day for you. April 28th next year, I expect a good promo on your OnlyFans. I expect you all to come for a hike. Yeah. <laughs> you should have a good promo on your OnlyFans <laughs> next year for Arbor Day. Arbor Day 2024. <laughs> Better a good promo. <laughs> Look at us with our branding. Oh, we're just so smart. Um, well, speaking of that, this is an OnlyFans show. So I guess let's get into that conversation, huh? Okay, let's I'm just ready. Let's discuss that shit. I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, what are you doing on there, dude? Well, you know, things. Yeah, don't, but... don't give me the things. There's nothing worse than a guest that comes on here and you're just like, gotta subscribe and find out. Okay, honestly, so when I first started OnlyFans, I actually was, like, appalled by OnlyFans. Like, I Why? thought it was... Because I... I just felt like it was just so like porno vibes. Right? It's definitely porno vibes. It is a little, but like there's like the porno and then there's like the influencer who like might dip the toes in the porno. And you're an influencer who might dip the toes. I in the might porno. slight dip. Slight dip. Slight dip. Just put your feet in. Something light. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe go up your knees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not full body. You're not doing a cannonball, but you're right. doing a little bit. Right, right, right. So, um, 
Yeah. Okay. But on there, I do basically imagine like virtual girlfriend mm -hmm. um, meets like pleasing your deepest fantasies meets like female body art meets like live stream personality interaction. You get me? I don't get you, but that sounds like a lot of just the or services you offer on yeah, OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be one. It could just be the services you offered. But either way, that's awesome. I was reading my menu there. Your menu? Yeah. What's on there? I just read it. I couldn't find it. Oh, There's a hidden menu. menu, though. What's on the hidden menu? Well, I can't tell What's you that What's on the off part? the menu? What's your animal style fries? <laughs> <laughs> Why did that just... <laughs> the visualization in my head after you said that. What's your equivalent to animal style? Um, I think... Well, I think my animal style doesn't really matter. I think it's like the fans' animal style that matters. You don't talk about the in and out thing, right? Oh, what? The in and out off their off menu item is called the animal style fries. What the fuck? In and out. Doing? Yeah, the burger, in and out. The burger, <laughs> in and out. <laughs> the burger shade, lady. Aren't you Sorry. supposed to be from LA? That's all I was thinking. Aren't you supposed to be no, from listen, LA? Do you see these abs? If you keep grabbing your tits again, I swear to God. I'm grabbing my abs. No, you're just grabbing your tits. The lighting's not good for the abs. If, oh man, you guys love to complain about the lighting in this room, I swear <laughs> to God. No, I don't eat I don't eat in and out. What do you eat? Um, I just do I just do the in and out, but I don't eat the in and out. Are you doing the in and out just on, like on the, OnlyFans? Just you doing that on OnlyFans? <laughs> not yet, maybe. I haven't dipped my toe in that water. In the in that water yet. Do you plan on it? Uh I don't know. Maybe if things go south. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. See, I'm a lot more open minded since I've started OnlyFans and it's actually like changed my perspective on it a lot. And the poor, like, I guess, sex industry. I wouldn't consider myself a sex worker, but I don't know. It's changed my perspective on it a lot. For the record, we're talking about vaginal intercourse, right? And filming it. Correct? <laughs> okay. Just want to clarify for everybody out there. But no, it's, it's totally fair. I totally get it. So, um, <laughs> so at least right now for the fellows, if we're, if we're subscribing, are we at least getting like a topless picture? Is there topless stuff there? Of course. I don't know. I don't know if you're one of the people that are like, oh, it's topless and then you got a hand bra on there. No, oh. no, no, no. I know, I know what the people want and I make sure they're sat more than satisfied. Good. Great. You that, know what I mean? That's what we care about, you know? Like I'm a woman of boundaries and I know mine, but like I like to push the boundaries and make sure everyone's satisfied. So actually I'm, when you mentioned your, what's on your menu, you mentioned body art. You also wrote uh, a caption on OnlyFans, uh, paint me. Do, do you have guys painting you on OnlyFans? Is that what you um, mean by body art? Um, so by body art, I mean like, so I started my like Instagram and everything through fitness because I was overweight in high school. And so I like, <laughs> I was overweight in high school and I got into shape and so I'm like really big on like the female body aesthetic. And so when I say body art, it's more of that. But like if someone did want to paint me and the price was right, mm -hmm. like whether it's acrylic paint, you know. Oh, you want them to pay you to paint you? Maybe. Or something else that's white. I don't know. Paint me. You just told me you're not doing that. Shh. It says paint me on there. I'm just saying. Shh. I recently said on an episode of All These Things, actually, I would be open to painting a girl on OnlyFans. Beautiful. I would be open to it. I said, I said painting somebody or eating sushi off them. I would do either mm. of those. Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I've never done before the whole really? sushi thing. No. Oh yeah, we well, could do that. What, you've done the naked sushi thing? Not the naked sushi, but I've done like liquid whipped cream off me. I've done like See, that I would do. Thing. Yeah. That done, I would like, do. See, that's fun. A, a theme on the show is a lot of girls always ask me to make content with them per se. You're lying, really? Oh yeah. Oh. We actually, the day we recorded this, it's our one year anniversary today. And our first episode ever, the girl asked that, and that like, and it got like, I think eleven million views on TikTok. And since then, like every guest asked me to, and I say no to everybody. But well, what if you said yes to me? I, I'm not gonna. You, you know the people I've said no to, lady. <laughs> do you know I'm, who? Do you know me though? No, I'm just. Sorry. I just met you. <laughs> With these mountains. Me and my mountains. Why was I gonna say that too? Like, I, like, like this guy hasn't <laughs> seen fucking large breasts on a show before. Yeah, but they're not mine. What mine do you mean they're not yours? Mine are cute. Oh, hey, but she mean you. Sorry, what? I was Those bad boys real? Oh, fuck no. They're fake as fuck. <laughs> fucking, you're all for me like a thousand foot tall mountain. That's really They're should be 10,000 feet tall. His booty's real, but. Oh, well, congrats on that. Anyway, 
So what's your weirdest subscriber request you've had on the old oh, OnlyFans? Oh, God. I okay. It's my favorite question to ask. I'm sure you have some good ones. Let's hear. Do you want, like, creepy? Do you want gross? Or do you want... Just fucking weird. All three, baby. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Which one do you want me to start with? Do gross. <laughs> okay. Um, so I had this one guy who was must have been like a foodie or had something going on with food. Okay. He would, he begged me for the longest time to pay me well to, for him to postmate food to my house. I had to show him, like take a picture. Mm -hmm. I got the food, whatever. And then take a video of me literally like, not like eating it normally, like literally shoving it in my face, mm -hmm. like crazy. Like, and, um, once that was done, he, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this on here. Um, he wanted me to set the phone down and then just like. <laughs> Throw up? No. <laughs> like, like moo like a cow? Maybe from not this one. <laughs> Are you saying fart or he want, queef? He wanted me to fart in the. It, he wanted me just to fart, just let it out. What was he sending you, like Taco Bell? Uh, no, well, Mexican. It was his choice. One time it was so Mexican. Taco, one maybe? time it was Italian. Like it was different. Maggiano's. Yeah. But like, yeah. yeah. yeah so that one was just kind of gross and a little weird. I'm not into that. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say. I was kind of vibing with it for a while no, there. No. I was vibing with it for a bit. I would. I would send you like a Peter Luger steak maybe, and just watch you enjoy it. I don't, need, just, I don't need the. I don't need the ending. Yeah, it was a little weird. Uh, it happens. I don't get it. All right, that was gross. What's creepy? Yeah. Had, I've also had, um, when I lived back in Colorado, because I lived at home, I had some random girl come to my uh, dad's front door, banging on the door, like, where's Julia? Does Julia live here? Da, da, da. And drags her husband fucking up to the front door by his ear and is like, um, basically thought that he was having an affair with me. And I'm like, yo, I sw like, I literally swear I've never once seen this man. So I have my dad sitting here like, why the fuck is this guy? Like, are you having, are you fucking him? Are you having sex with this guy? Da, da, da. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't even know who the fuck this person is. I never um, got that either way. Yeah. Either way, I never got that. Yeah, so shouldn't she, even if you were, shouldn't she be mad at him? That's, that's Why is she I'm gonna saying. get mad at you? I don't know, my poor dad too. Yeah, your poor, not so much your dad's getting straight bullets. <laughs> Yeah, and so I had to explain. I'm like, Dad, when you do Instagram and stuff, because I had an OnlyFans at the time, but he didn't know too. I was like, when you do Instagram, like people get horny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that part. That's pretty much it. That's the gist of it. No, but also that's so weird because if you think about it, where how did she tie in his name and mine? He probably she probably went and looked at his Instagram and saw Julia. Lynn or maybe, Sandoval. or maybe the OnlyFans thing, and he was buying my content, and that's. Probably thought it was some sort of an OnlyFans relationship. Why did I just have this realization right now? Not just a hat rack, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. Because this happened year, like two and a half years ago. Yep. When I had first started it. <gasps> oh, this makes sense. OMG. Okay, do you want the last one? Yeah, of course. Okay, so... I had seen this on... You know those like reality TV shows like on... Oxygen or or the like documentaries where they're like the crazy like weirdest um, like the girl that drinks gasoline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was one time I saw a girl who was like a baby, like li liked being a baby. Mm -hmm. And so that's the only time I had heard about people like having this desire to like be a baby. OK. Um, besides me, when I'm PMSing and emotional, I'm like, please hold me, cradle <laughs> me. Um, <clears throat> so this guy messages me and asks me to tells me that he has a like life sized or like adult sized what's Doll that called? View? Crib. Okay. Oh. Crib. And he asked me if he can he found a like long distance uh kind of like walkie talkie but like baby monitor basically mm -hmm. and asked if he could send me it and if I would basically talk to him 
while he's in his cradle. Like nothing weird. Like literally just like singing him lullabies. Like actual Sing mommy. Sing us a lullaby right now. Sing <laughs> us a lullaby. Hush little baby, don't say a word. Mommy's gonna show you a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Hopefully that boy sees that. I'll get him a horned up. Yeah. yeah. But no, so um, he has me talking on this like baby monitor. And again, nothing like literally nothing sexual. It's just like he wanted me to like actually babysit him. Like literally babysit, like pretend I'm mom, which like I might be mommy. I, mommy, I, was, about to, I was about to say, mommy, if you're mommy, being sorry. mommy, maybe no, but like kind of see a, a hot babysitter fetish. So um, I've never had a boyfriend. OK, literally all never 25 had a years. Really? No. Nope. Really? Mm -hmm. There's not many of us out there. No. So we're, but, we're, we're a small but strong group. <laughs> Fuck I yeah. Live. Um, no, so I've never, ever had a boyfriend, never had a guy like, hey, will you be mine? Never met mom and dad, none of that. But plot twist, I recently got into a relationship. Wow. Yeah. How's like, that going? Three months ago. Three months? Really good. But here's the thing. With OnlyFans, tying this back in, um, it's been it was very, very difficult at first because I feel like these guys have a conception of what they think is going on. And it's really not what people think. And so I introduced the idea of like doing videos together Ooh. and literally it completely went from like arguing every like I'm saying every day about like my OnlyFans stuff and having to go do live streams and all this stuff to now like like him like having ideas and like wanting to film all of it and like like yeah so <laughs> makes sense it's yeah there is one guy i was seeing one guy who he th that's the only thing like i guess similar to a fly out but it wasn't he he would go back and forth from uh one state to california and sometimes i'd go What's fly the state? and see him Florida? <clears throat> no was it new york no, the state is actually so. What is it? Kansas. Oh. <laughs> but he's like, uh, I met him through mutual friends. We were seeing each other for a while, and um, he. So you've had another boyfriend. Um no, because the situation was like, <laughs> we couldn't be in like a a relationship. It was just it was very. Uh, I guess you could say it was like a sugar daddy situation. Ooh, so you had a sugar daddy. Yeah. How that much did he pay you? He took care of me. <laughs> How much are we talking? Give me a weekly stipend. I wasn't weekly. Give me a monthly stipend. Like 20, 25. 20, 25 a month? Yeah. And what, were, and what were your like requirements? Did you have to do sex? I'm assuming, obviously. Well, okay. So this whole scenario with this person <laughs> was very natural. Like, cause I'm not like, let's make it loud and clear. I'm not like a pay to play. No, yeah, of course not. Never in a million years. Didn't but. I met this guy through mutual friends and um, we just hit it off. And I thought he was older, like 45, not like like giving hot dad, you know, and great personality worked out whole 10 yards. And I was like, I kind of like this guy. He takes me on a date and he basically tells me like his where he's at in life. He was separated from his wife. They were getting divorced, basically. And he had six kids. And so um it was kind of like a situation where it's giving extremely emotionally unavailable mm -hmm. and he couldn't like be there for me, give me what I deserve. And so he told, like basically proposed, had a proposal for me. And I was like, I made sure that him and the wife were not like they are divorced. So basically it was just like, he'll fly out to you, fly out to him once a month. You guys have a fun weekend together. Yeah. You get 20 grand me. out of it. Right, twenty five sometimes. Twenty five grand for gifts. an emotionally unstable guy. Pretty fucking good. Yeah, yeah that's quite the but steal. But the, the fucked up part is that I, until like three months ago, I thought it was just all the guys that I was talking to that were emotionally unavailable. But then I kind of started realizing in the past month that maybe I was. The emotionally oh, then you're the one that's emotionally available. One, yeah, no, you're happy now. You're happy now. So anyway, I just went through your uh, Twitter and noticed some stuff you tweeted recently. You recently tweeted, "I'm still down to fuck on your period." You're doing, some, you're doing some period sex? What are, what are your thoughts on period sex? Wait, this is so good right now. Yes. Yeah, so what are your okay. thoughts on period sex? I've never, I've never said this on camera. Okay. Um, so let's just like start at the fact that I lost my virginity on my period. 
So <laughs> sounds like it sounds like a bloody fun time. <laughs> bloody fun time. Uh, no, take your time. No one's here for you. Um. <laughs> hey. Um. So like, yeah. The thing is with period sex, like girls are at least this girl is like ten times hornier. Mm -hmm. Like I'm already a very horny girl. Like probably more horny than most men. And then on your period, it's like times 200. So it's like, yeah, you have to have period sex. And also like, I don't have issues getting wet. Like, <laughs> but like when you're on your period, you're even wetter. So it's just flowing down the hallway. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think if I had a, like a heavy flow, <laughs> a really heavy flow, it would be kind of like, I don't know. Like a lot, a lot, it would be a lot, lot but luckily I'm like, it's not that bad, you know. Luckily, it's not definitely that put bad. a towel it's not down. Not that bad, and you're just horny, and there's a towel down. Yeah, but when I fuck, I put a towel down most of the time, anyways. When you're not on the period. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. Why? Well, shit gets messy. <laughs> I know. I mean, yeah, that that's happens from time to time. You just put a towel down every time. Yeah, because here's what happens. Like, how fucking cleanly are you, lady? Well, but like when you squirt a lot, like. And you wash your sheets a lot, mm -hmm. and then you have to sleep in your. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Your squirt, your cum. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Uh, get, get expensive buying all those Tide Pods. <laughs> when too. you have to yeah. sleep in your waterfall, it's mm -hmm. not fun. Yeah, yeah. So like, put a towel down, and then it just like solves everything. That's fair. That's a good point. You want to do all the laundry. Exactly. Do you have a key to the squirting? Getting go to squirt for the fellows out there. Oh yeah. Um. It's like. <sighs> Well, I think don't girls have like this is so gross, but like a sack that fills up basically, Ooh, and then it. I didn't know about that. I didn't know it is. I don't want to think about that. That yet. Yeah, that ruined the whole idea of squirting for me. me. That's what my boyfriend. Where, told but we're me. supposed to like think of squirting as like a hot thing. I can't think. <laughs> no, of No, it's true. I can't think of a sack exploding every it time. It does. I think about that. I'm at least I'm honest. This is the no, thing that people say. Hey, we love the female body. Okay, so listen. Listen to the female body, boys. So. Basically, you have to get wherever that is, like you have to get deep enough. Mm -hmm. It's different on everyone's body, I think. But for for me, I guess mm -hmm. you have to get deep enough and have enough like um, the speed matters and the depth matters. Um, you also treated if you went to a girl's place for the first time and saw her dildo sitting out parentheses accidentally, what would you do think? OK, I tweeted that because that happened to me. Like a girlfriend? No, like or your dildo was out and the guy came over. Yeah, my neighbor at my old place. The old place was horrible. But yeah, I had a oh, stalker. stalker Someone stalker hit place. my car, dented it in. There's no cameras. So send me a tip, you guys. Help me fix this car. And then and then um, my neighbor came over, which he I ended up finding out that he was like definitely trying to fuck for sure. But Shocking. he came over to see my new place because I had moved from um, basically one apartment to a nicer one. He wanted to see it, whatever. He came over and my huge, like 10 inch fucking dildo. You got a 10 just, inch dildo? Yeah, was just sitting there. Is it for work or are you just have it for joy? Oh no, it's just for joy. 10 inch, I thought it was always like vibrators are really for joy. The 10 inch dildos oh, are no, more, you need for, both. more for like the, uh, for videos. You know, you need both at the same time. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. I take it like a good girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <dude. laughs> You're going to get it to BG before you know it, talking like that. <laughs> oh. Deb, so why was this neighbor trying to fuck, though? What? Why would you say your neighbor was trying to fuck? I don't know. Do you, you tell me. Guys. I'm saying, do you, so do you think that uh, guys and girls could be friends? Platonic friends? Yeah, for Thoughts? sure. Not um, so not you and your neighbor, but No, possible. and I wouldn't, no. Um, yes, it, it depends on the guy's values. Ooh. For sure. Because... I have my best friend lives in Colorado. His name's Chris. Love you, Chris. Shout out Chris. And shout out Chris for us. And um, we are strictly friends. He's my longest friend, actually. We've mm -hmm. been friends for like almost eight years now, like a long time. And um, our friendship is like actually centered around. I'm so psycho. It's centered around like God and like our. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I know, but I just like not me talking about my 10 inch dildo and then, and then but I feel like that's what's sentence. annoying. Like, why can't that like be like people are so just because uh, you're breaking commandment by using your 10 inch dildo. I don't know. Yeah, but also the commandments. 
I, my view on the commandments are very different because my view on them are like, here's the list of things that God provides you to live a peaceful life. If you go against them, you're not going to be go to hell, but like it will make your life easier by following them. So it's fair. Yeah. So anyways, I do think my ADHD is so bad. I do think that you can have guy friends and not have it. But now for my boyfriend, can he have girlfriends? Hell no. You double standard <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He does have girlfriends, but I do be like making Your always, sure. Your eyes are perked up. I'm huh? always lurking. I'm like, hmm. Damn, Let dude. me see how she looks at him when I'm standing over here. <sighs> or how he looks at her. Yeah. Guys are dumb, though. Like, we, we can't tell. No. It's a friend. Well, hey, really? piggyback. Yeah. Well, hey, piggybacking off that, I got one more question for you. Okay. You think OnlyFans models go to hell or heaven? Oh, um, I think having an OnlyFans is um, irrelevant to going to hell or heaven. Agreed. Really? Of course. Okay. Cool. What do you think? I do a show and I think you're all going to hell? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm trying to do a show with some fucking demons, dude. No. No, but some With of these some girls demons? are on demon time for real. Maybe some have been on demon time before. It happens. Am I on demon time? No, you just said you have a friendship founded on you God. Said, you said no. <laughs> yeah, this is so cute. It's other than the 10 inch dildo, that is a little. Other than the 10 inch dildo. The 10 inch dildo, we, maybe we could work on. But outside of that, yeah, you're, you, you'll you be in you'll be a quick trip of purgatory, then you'll be out. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, I think that's about it. You got anything for me? Mm. Okay, great. <laughs> um, yeah, this mic sucks. And um, yeah, thank you so much for coming in. Uh, why don't you call you Emily? Julia. Oh, hell no. Julia Lynn Sandoval. Say my name and say it right. Julia Lynn Sandoval. One Is that time. correct? Julia Lynn Sandoval. A little Sandoval. louder. Julia Lynn Sandoval. Spell it. J-U-L-I-A space L-Y-N-N space S-A-N-D-O-V-A-L. Yes. For some reason, I feel like there's an Emily Sandoval out there. Yeah, right? That sounds like a real name. All you need to know is that this is Julia Sandoval and Emily Sandoval. Love you, but no. There's Julia Sandoval. Emily Sandoval. I have one with me. We're in pod two. Sorry. You should be. For what? Balls Beachwear. That's so cute. That's what I'm going to ask you to take a photo of right now. That's, That's okay so with. cute. Apparently there is no Emily Sandoval, but Emily Sandoval sounds like a real person. Yeah. Wait, do you have, so you have a whole brand around that? Yeah. Send so, me some stuff. I'll take photos for I you. I will. I'm going to take a photo. Well, we're going to have this girl come in here and take a photo. But I don't okay? take just like Instagram girl photos. I take actually like good shit. I will send you some. Is that okay with you? Yeah. There's a Tom Sandoval. Tom, I think, feel like the guy's oh my gosh. Wait, right hold now. on. Wait, I don't this know who is, he is. Wait, okay. This is the thing. So I, it was, I had tons of press, like, messaging me because mm -hmm. someone told the media that I had an affair with Tom Sandoval. Oh, really? Yes. I don't know who he is. I've been seeing it every day nonstop. Who so is this guy? he, he was on, um, I think the housewives or mm -hmm. the real housewives or something. And so I woke up one day, I looked at my Instagram stories and I had like 400,000 views on one of my stories. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I go and I check my DMS. I have literally like, tons of press like dming me like did you have an affair with tom sandoval tom sandoval da, da, da. all these girls like oh my god tom is so disgusting da 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 da, da. and i was just like <laughs> i'm like oh. <laughs> this was me like damn he's a vanderpump rules guy oh vandy pump is okay. that who he is yeah i guess i don't know i'm that. like i well, know hey, who he is. No, I'm kidding. did you have so did you have an affair with tom sandoval no comment Sounds like it would be Sandoval and Sandoval sex right there. I don't know if that could happen. Yeah, some people are into that. I'm not saying who, but some. Some are. Tom Sandoval. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, let's wrap this up. Thank you so much, um, Emily. This has been great. Oh, hell no. Joke. Thank you, Julia. Mm -hmm. <laughs>